Welcome back to Crowns Crypto Cave and welcome to this next entry within this psychological trading series. Today, we will be focusing on why it seems that your account value can never grow past a certain level. It's almost like there's a resistance level on top of it. Now, of course, this is a very clickbait YouTube title. Please excuse that. I'm not proud to use these sorts of things, but it does accurately describe a problem that I used to have and that you might find yourself in currently where you feel like you have, and this and this goes for a lot of different fallacies of life, by the way, but we're gonna be doing this within the context of, of account value. It seems that you have some sort of just invisible hand stopping your account from getting past a certain level. Why is this? Because probably on the surface level, you say, yeah, I want my account value to increase. Uh, like I think most, most people would say that at some point, but we have to really look deep and down and dirty into the human psyche on why it seems that whenever we get to perhaps a new all-time high or, or just around whatever level that we feel like we have resistance on with our account, that it's almost like we enter into self-defeating behaviors. Perhaps you become a little bit more cavalier with the way that you put on positions. Perhaps you become a little bit more uh, relaxed with the way that you manage your risk. Perhaps you, uh, perhaps you get the feeling that you can't lose, so you don't manage risk at all. You know these sorts of things. Where does this essentially come from? Well. We really want to go deep and down and dirty into, you know, into the source of the problem in a video like this. So where does it really come towards? And it comes towards the, it, it comes from the root as all, basically every problem in this, in, in, in this series, and that is your identity. When you identify constantly with an account value, when you're seeing it in front of your face, and let's just say it's 10 Bitcoin, for example, and you always see that 10 at the top of your trading account or your wallet or, or, or what have you, you become accustomed to that. It becomes a part of your identity. You take it on and it, in a way, becomes you. It becomes you in a very ephemeral way. Whenever you see something and do something repeatedly, it actually strengthens the neurological pathways in your brain between the concept of that and, 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 and what you identify with, thus making it easier for your brain to access that pathway. So when you feel like you are 10 Bitcoins, which in reality, you can't, you you can only be a person, you can't be an account value, right? But when you feel that way, you want to intrinsically live up to that identity for better or worse. When you're below it, you feel like, oh, I need to get back to break even, I need to get back to normal, but that's not true. Uh, and when you're above it, you're like, oh, I could afford to lose some here and I'm still living within the bounds of my own, of my own uh, validated identity. So as you can see, this is a very self-destructive uh, behavior and self-destructive ideology, which a lot of people get caught up in and myself included. How do you get out of this? How do you step aside and live up to probably what you more logically want in, I'm, I'm guessing, a higher account value and, and, and let go of this false, it's, it's not even a truth to begin with. It, you can't be your account value to begin with. So. Of course, the best way is self-actualization, realizing that you're not your fucking account value and it should be viewed independently towards yourself. But of course, we're dealing with these psychological, physiological processes, which are pretty much ingrained in our psyche. So what's a more practical way of getting around this, around this essentially invisible hand resistance on our account value in these examples? Well, the best way that I've found is at that account value, again, for let's just say you have that intrinsic number of 10 in your mind, my account value is 10 and it's no more, it's no less. Anytime I would get over 10, 10 Bitcoins, I'd immediately take that off exchange, put it, in, put it into my wallet, put it into my bank account, whatever it might be. That way, I'm actually letting that process work for me in a way, right? I keep on consistently bringing it back to that level. I see it in front of my face. It strengthens those neurological pathways. I identify with it more. <laughs> and almost in a fucked up way, it actually becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, even though that might not be the most uh, the most enlightened way of doing things. It doesn't mean that it's a bad way. It's, it's one way around. It's a vice, absolutely. Ideally, though, ideally, you want to graduate from that sort of thinking and understand that <laughs> there's no difference between, you know, you aren't your account's value, so it can't, it can't make up a part of your identity to begin with. You are just, well, you're a human being, most likely if you're listening to content like this. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, in the year 2019, we don't have uh, fully autonomous uh, AI robots, so probably still just 
it's probably still just boring humans uh, listening to this. Unless you're an alien, maybe we have some aliens in the uh, in the crowd. But 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 understand these sorts of things because they will be working mostly against you, mostly against you. But if you can make it work for you at the very beginning, then that will be a that will be a segue into 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 adopting a more you know, a, a, a more empowering belief, I suppose you could say, although I really dislike that word empowering. So understand these things. And this actually has great implications for not just your account value, but for many other things. Um, I think a great example was when Bitcoin was around the 6,000 level. Now, again, this is uh, beginning of 2019. So if you are listening to that to this as, at a later date, um, let me just kind of run through the story. Bitcoin was essentially oscillating between the 6,000 level um, for almost all of 2018, a year. And during that year, people would be you know, lulled in this false sense of security that Bitcoin cannot go below 6,000 because quite literally, when you, when you only see it get down to that level, you form those connections in your brain. You form that meaning of it, that intrinsic meaning. And you think in your, in your version of reality, in your frame of reality, in your frame of mind, that that is just not what Bitcoin is. Bitcoin is at least $6,000. Of course, a lot of people were very... Um, a lot of people are very humbled to learn that that is not the way that things work. So, you know, this that's obviously taking the taking this uh, this this talk in a little bit of a different direction. But you can see that this does have severe implications with basically all facets of life. We want to be fully agnostic with how we interpret these sorts of things, with how we interpret these numbers, because at the end of the day, I mean, it's just it's just abstract uh, ideas, ab ab abstract concepts now, isn't it? So it's just all about our perceptions of them. So understand that your perception is your projection, especially if you are a man with, a, you know, with, with a male mind. Perception equals projection, right? So when you're looking at these sorts of things, come with that frame of mind that anything can happen. And if you live long enough in this... In, in this market, you will know that anything can happen. And when it comes to your account value, understand that if it's, you know, if something's working against you in your identity with regards to your account value, that is something that, yes, you can work around by just, you know, taking it off and solving it that, that way. But also the more in line way, again, is to meditate on the idea that you can't be your account's value. It can't make up a part of your identity. And if it doesn't make up, up a part of your identity, then you won't be, you won't feel that invisible hand trying to push you towards whatever that, you know, that numerical value is. Because remember, it can't even be that to begin with. It can't even be that. That's that's the crazy thing about it. So of course, um, two two modes of going about it, no doubt about that. And you know, you put on the train for, tra put on the training wheels first. I still do that, um, where I basically have you know I basically have a set number, and then everything above that I take out. And that's you know it it, it just it always it's always like a fail safe right um, because there really are a lot of autonomous pr um, processes that are working towards you know living up to that and it, you can make it work for you or you can make it work against you again this game is already hard enough so any little any little uh cut that you can make that would you know push you in a more easy direction i would suggest is a good change to be making so again why does your account value never seem to go up it's because of your relation of your identity to that account value take away that relation take away your identities uh you know wrapping around this sort of thing and you will no longer have this issue or just take money off the exchange of course this applies to many of many other ways and i'm sure that you can start thinking of plenty of them just like we talked about you know with the value of bitcoin with um well right now it's you know it's around three thousand so i think a lot of people are, are looking at this the same way um time all these sorts of things this is why humans have a difficult concept a difficult time understanding the concept time because you know, <laughs> it's, it seems to it seems to pile up pretty pretty damn quickly. But again, that's perhaps another conversation for another time, another uh, more ephemeral video. I hope this one finds you well, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.